cool. So there's um, clay and scars that I was hoping to get to. So I might just quickly um, just kind of knock some scars together. Um, first of all, I'm going to paint a mask and scaler for where I want the scars laid out. They're um, they're not going to be terribly dramatic scars. Um, and I'm going to try and go for these pale scars like this uh, Peruvian hairless dog. I don't know how successful that will be, but it's, um, I think it's worth a shot. Just kind of a pinky pale. Um, yeah, kind of lacerated. They'll, uh, it's good to think about the kind of scars uh, that you're applying. Um, there's generally three kinds of scars, um, colloidal, uh, atrophic, and hypertrophic. Uh, and that's basically anys and outies. <laughs> um, colloidal scars are the big tubular ones, and um, they're the ones that you see in uh, Sudanese and African scarification. Um, they're scars that actually grow over time. Um, uh, and your atrophic scars are indented and can, uh, yeah, they're concave scars and hypertrophic are your general uh, uh, convex scars, that, so your positive displacements. Um, yeah, I find scars quite interesting. Um, It's good to kind of think about impact points and so forth. Um, and that I think subtle scars can be quite effective. Um, going for a lot of thin uh, lacerated scars around the face and neck, I think it's just, um, I think I just associate demonic possession <laughs> thanks to Exorcist with a small uh, facial lacerations <laughs> um, but yeah just a just playing around at this point um, I don't think I really have much time to develop these too much Yeah, I'm more using the, uh, the the dog photo for reference of uh, layout and colouring. Um, they appear to have basically no displacement, and I'll be relying on displacement to sell these quite a lot. Um, probably add a lot to the back, but um, I won't be rendering the back for this. So yeah, I guess I'm kind of treating this like a, uh, a third so, uh, skin, uh, sorry, a third surface to uh, as to add to so the skin the horns and the scars um quickly just fixing some stretching uh well uh projection smearing that I have going on Isn't that cavity there 
and I'm going to go through my skin displacement uh, using a mask diffuse blend creating a general scar displacement I'm using the scar mask for it and yeah there's going to be um, colloidal scars so outies um, Adding uh, regularity and fading them off, um, and I'm also using this to knock out any skin detail. Um, and that will make them. Although I'll, I will add uh, some specularity and that quick spec map I put together, uh, and I'll want a different specular response. Uh, simply having no uh, skin displacement. And the area will uh, attribute to that effect significantly. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just filling out certain areas in the middle, uh, lifting them up, and blending back, uh, giving them some um, some kind of lacerations across. If you can just see working back and forth, um, give that. Uh, contracted feeling to them. Trying to make them all a little bit different um, from each other. using the mask preview to remember where they are and yeah, filling them in and before I bake down just switching and doing a little blending and breaking them up I'm also going to soften out a little bit of the displacement around uh, the scars. There I'm cheating and actually adding um, some negative displacement uh, just in some areas uh, just to pop them out. I don't think it'll ever really read as negative displacement. It might just um, define the shadowing. Um, yeah, but also yeah, having a little bit of the displacement removed around them just to show um, some skin trauma. Some pulling on the, the skin surface. As you can see, my um my skin displacement still needs a substantial amount of blending and uh, cleaning up. That's my computer having a GL error. Um, yeah, and hiding some geo. If you want to keep everything um, displayed, that's one way to lighten it up. So yeah, I'm switch over to the hot pink mask. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, pinkening. Just uh, splattered through them.
and also to add to the color I'm just using a masked uh, diffuse blend so I'll be plugging my uh, my scar mask uh, sorry I'm using the disp fine with the scar mask so that will take the um and screening it so it'll basically just take all the information and lighten them up because I just want to pale them down uh, like that Peruvian dog just trying out a few different um, blending options Cool, so the displacement's in there, just uh, colouring them up now. Yeah, just adding some specularity to them. Not as much as you'd think, yeah. I think just just the lack of uh, skin detail in the area should make them kick uh, specular-wise a little bit more. Blending this back out a little bit. Try and show a bit of pull in the skin. And uh, here, because I want, I'm removing the dark surface model um, from under the scars uh, because I would assume that to go in the scarring process um, and otherwise it may look like my scars are stuck on over the top um, like tube blast adding just a little bit of blue to them I actually suspect that in the end, yeah, I have mixed feelings about the pale scars and they could end up going purple, um, but yeah. Really not happy with that that one scar there. I might remove it at some point. 